Hi everybody, Juanita's Casita here, and I'm going to be doing something I've I've only done one other of this, and this I'm going to be using this Anna Griffin die. I've already ran it through my Empress. Let me turn that on. Um, and we we've, we've already embossed it using the embossing mat, but I'm going to show you kind of what this die is going to make. And um, I still have to trim off the excess ribbon. I just went ahead and gave it a little bit of uh, some Thermo Web iCraft Ultra Bond. I went ahead and put a little bit of this on the ribbon so it would not come undone. And I just need to trim off the excess. So this this die will can make something like this. Each you know when you when you make cards, they don't always look the same. You can make you can do what them you can you can change them up. You can do whatever this particular die comes with these um, additional flower and and one leaf die I'm trying to think if it came with more than that so it's the major die that cuts this piece and it's one component like this and then it cuts and it has like these flowers and you'll see that in a moment and it cuts two petals two different petals and a leaf out and you can have this stick directly to the paper I went ahead and embossed this I use an embossing folder for this and I have it right here. It's this Anna Griffin. If I get it close enough as it'll focus, maybe there is maybe right there. I'm using this Anna Griffin 3D embossing folder, ornamental corners frame is what it's called. I went ahead and used that just to emboss this page, not the other, not the other page of the card or side of the card. And what I did was I went ahead and secured this with some double stick tape on this side. But I had a little secret, and I've this is a custom order. Somebody asked me for a custom order, so I went ahead and made this. Uh, it's an in memoriam card for their mother, for Mother's Day, and um, so this one you open it up and it says "With love to my mother." So I can get that on the camera, and um, I use this using from a different set, this die and also this die here makes up that center portion right there and um, then I like I said I embossed this so when you open it this way you can see and then inside I cut opposite colors and then opposite colors again and I went and just placed them under here and this is a rose gold using Aunt, this is the Anna Griffin rose gold um, matte foil and this paper is by uh, is it the paper studio I'm sorry I forget it's the one from Joann's and this is DCWV paper here which I purchased at Joann's, but that's for a different company. Um, so that I think that turned out really well. I just need to trim this, like I said, make it neater. And I put a little bit of glue in there, which is dried clear. You can't see it, just so that won't come undone. So basically, this is what I'm going to be making. I'm going to be making a card very similar to this. I'm just leave it there for a second so you can see. Okay, and it's, and it's got a lot of foil going on. There's a lot of, let me see, I don't know if I can pick up the foil accents. There's a lot of foil going on in this card on the on the various papers but um this is part of the anna griffin jacket dies and i own several of them and have used none of them this is the very first time i've used one so i'm going to go ahead and take this off uh so you can see what that looks like so i've already like i said i've already ran it through the empress to cut and i ran it through to emboss so i'm taking away the excess and don't forget i can use all this still so i'm going to be saving that so we're going to turn this around so you can see what this looks like and yes, gently because you don't want to damage your paper. These are great, nice, thick metal dies. They do um, wonderfully when it comes to cutting. They cut really well. I'm just going to use my Spellbinders 2-in-1. This is always with me. It's the Anna Griffin branded version. And I'm just releasing the paper from the die because it really pushed in there really good. There we go. And clean out the rest. I think that's most of it. See, this is a one piece. This is a one piece die. It's a very large die, really. I mean, here's my hands. Okay, let me see. That is a large die. Okay, and um, it's meant. It's they they're called jacket dies, and it cuts like I said. It cuts the back. And um, this piece here. See, so this is what this looks like, and you can see the flowers right there. If I bring it up closer, so 
right? And so this foil, this foil paper is very shiny, but it, it cuts beautifully and it embosses, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and um, score this. And I like using this, I use it as my t all table, and I, I, my theme is crafting in chaos. I do a lot of crafting in chaos, some people can't handle it, it's just the way I do it. So I just need to, I would like to line this up, this score line right here, this is where I'm going to be folding it. Okay, but I want to make sure, because I, this paper, you don't, it, it's, it's scored there, but it's not really scored enough that it'll fold. And I want to make sure that it does not fight with me. So I'm going to score it again. Just so it knows who's boss. And I am boss with this paper. Okay, so I've scored it. Now I feel comfortable in folding it. Okay, so you can see the makings and the beginnings of this of this card. And this is why they call it a jacket die. Okay, so your paper, whatever color you choose, you know, I don't, whatever color you want to do, and I'll just show you an example. This is some more, this is some more, um, here, I'm going to show you where I got this one from. Let me see. This is from this paper pack. It is the DCWV Perry and Peach. Okay, and I got this some time ago. I think I bought this in October um, at Hobby Lobby when they're having a massive sale. And there's a lot of foil pieces in here. And this color scheme goes really well with this um, rose gold. It's a rose gold theme. I'm also using another one, I believe. I mean, well, in, the, in, the, in this one that I showed you, okay, I use this paper in here. I also used... Um, I feel like I used something from here, but now I don't I don't remember. I really like this one. Look at this one, you guys. I don't know. That one's really calling my name. Isn't that pretty? With the foil? That one, there was a blue one that I was really liking. Oh, this one's really pretty too. Look at that. And see you could you could offset it with like that, which you know these two go together. Um this one's more peachy than pink. I will say. This one's definitely more peachy than pink. From what I can see. This one has a lot of uh, sentiments, which are really cool. Oh, those are cool. I wonder if I have dyes that would cut stuff like that out. Anyways, so, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might want to use, where'd they go? I'm thinking I might want to use that one. Or these two together. I'm not really sure. See, this has a white background. This has a cream background. So honestly, I think this one will go better, maybe. I'm not sure because it's not the same. But I do like the blue with it. So I think I'm going to go back. But I have this other one over there, the CCW V. That's a navy. See, this one's more pink, peach, and navy. And I've already used that one would be nice what do you think of that one that one would be nice um i think i will i think i will pull this one let me pull this one because i'm really digging on this so on my table you're gonna see products that i like to work with they i consider them my favorite products um i really enjoy Working with these products, I they're for me they're tried, um, trusted, and true. So you will see them often. Like um, you'll see my Zyron, my Zots, and these absolutely fabulous. I cannot rave en enough about them or whatever. These Gina K foam squares in black. They are super sticky, super super tacky, sticky, and they work fabulously. They're not super raised. They're more of a middle or medium or medium to low raised square, foam square, but they are super strong. I highly, highly recommend those. Um, I think I may, I think the white ones are sold out at scrapbook.com and I think, or scrapbooking.com. I always get that wrong. Um, so I may have ordered some more black, but I wanted the white ones, but I think I just ended up getting more black. I'm not sure. Let me see what else I got here. 
Um, so I'm really digging on these two colors I think work well together. So let me see. I want to, because I'm going to be die cutting, I'm going to be die cutting some more. I want to show you this one. This one's called Indigo Craft Rose Gold. Again, by DCWV. They, I, I did pick up a lot of their paper. They really have good paper. My friend Heather loves their paper, too. I also have this Copper Lux, which I think is a little too orange by DCWV. This one's Sheets of Copper Foil, but I think, in my opinion, it's too orangey. Wait, that looks a little pink. No, this is straight up copper. This is straight up orange. This would be great for Halloween, probably. But this is not going to work for me today, so I'm not going to be using that one. Um, so I'm really liking these two colors here. I think these would go well for this card that I'm making. But, um, let me see if I can. The separating these paper pads is always the worst. Let's see if I can get in here. Yes, you could use a scissor. No, I'm not listening to my own rules or my own advice. Don't try this at home and this is the way I'm doing it. What can I say? Make sure I don't ruin the paper. Let's go back. And let me see here. So on this one, that says Juanita's Casita all the way. I love geometrics. Well, we're not looking for that. This one looks really good. But do you think the navy... It's a much more um, blue navy, and this is more of a, uh, maybe a dark navy. I really like this, and these little leaves match that. I'm really liking this one, but I don't know if this would be an overall match. Um, let me cut this. I might, I might go with that one. I really like it. I think the recipient of this card would really like it, too. So, let me see. I really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and take, well, let me not take it now because I don't know if I'm going to use that one, but let me see what else I have. This one says, you are the one that is, you are the one that is love for, you are the one that it, oh, you are the one that I love forever and always. Oh, that's sweet. Polka dots. This one's cute. Mm, that is cute, but not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. Like bubbles. These are two-sided, but they're solid navy on the back. That looks like wood. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Polka dots, arrows, more navy. Um, some sentiment cards, pink. Oh, hello. Hello, madam. Hold on a second. So my first choice was this one, right? This one's really pretty. I'm digging on this one. Ooh, that one's nice. Okay, hold on. Okay, you know what? Let me cut. I'm gonna take the only. I only got two sheets of this. Okay, so this is like rare in my collection. So I'm gonna take that one, and I'm also going to take. Um, I'm thinking maybe a flat one would work well for beneath the card. I'm not going to do white again, but, well, you know what? I, I might do white and uh, cut out a frame. I think we might do, I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta really think about that. Um, so I think this one, this is the one I like. So let's, let's, let's take this one out. So I like those two, but I wanted to look and see. I'm, I have some leftover, but see, this is like a, per, is it periwinkle? This isn't going to go, this doesn't match, excuse me. This doesn't, this, that doesn't match, but I have another one or two. This one doesn't, is not going to go either. This is part of this grouping, but not what I'm wanting. I don't see the other one, which is... It was a third one. Oh, was there a third one? Let me look at this. The periwinkle, the this one. Oh, I guess not. No, that was it. We don't want this. We don't want this. Okay, so what I want to show 
is what these are going to look like with the cards. So we, I go back, just how I do it. I'm going to go back and just see what looks great in the card. So right there. I, okay, so what I'm trying to do is like this card here. Okay. Bring it close. This card here has a white inner card. Extremely heavy card stock. Took the embossing really well. Um, I don't want to do that white underneath. I want a pattern. But at the same time, I want the pattern to be complementary because I want to cut out these flowers again, okay, and paste them up. So I want it to be complementary. So this one has no foil, just a print. I could go with that, or I could do something like that, and then do maybe like the leaf I could do in this pattern maybe. The flowers I could do. Let's see what do we got here, maybe. I could also do this one. Now, see here, you can pick up the difference. This is more of a pink and this is more of a copper foil. So that I'm going to say no to right off the bat. That is not a good match. Um, this one, uh, is this a pink or a copper? Mm, I think this is more of a copper. Or I can't tell for some reason this one looks straight up pink to me. When I go like this, it looks the same. But here I can, mm, it's more noticeable on that one. So I'm going to say no. If I do this one with the navy, I think it's too much foil. I think I need a flat. And if I go with a white, light foil, I could do that. And, um, well, I could. I could do that. No, I think that's too much. I think I want to go with a flat color. But now I'm like questioning my blues. I wanted a pattern. But I think if I pattern the the card and then I do and it's, it's this high. Okay, remember? If I pattern the card then when I pattern the, the two flowers and the leaf I think it'll be too much. I think it'll be too much pattern. I think I have to go with a solid again. Um, I think I have to go with a solid. So maybe, maybe I choose, maybe I choose a solid or some form of solid. It's like a watery mark solid. And then do the colors. I think that might be better. So now I'm stuck with trying to find a color that I can live with. A color in the rose quartz. A solid color um, that I can live with. Oh, remember that in the navy? Did I tear that one out? Because wowie zowie. That would be too much. That would be too much. Let me see. Something not too busy. Something not too busy. Oh, wait. Some writing. This is kind of cool. This says... I have no idea what it says. I, I guess I could take the time to read it. Let's see. Implore your light uh, be he seeing something. The, mm, the morn will never. I can't read this. From the sun his season takes. But still the lover, still the lover wonders what they that's a mistress. Okay, no, I, I'm not gonna use that. That's no, that's not cool. I'm like, what? So again, we're this is more of a peachy and a pink. I think I want more of a pink color. Oh, look at that one. That one's so pretty. 
Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. Hold on. I don't think any of these are going to work. I don't think that any of these are going to work for me. Um, let me look at the other one. This, yes, you're, you're, if you're saying, this is how long it takes to make a card, you, it can. It can. Sometimes I pre-prep these things so you guys don't see all that I'm doing. I pre-prep the colors or, you know, whatever I'm choosing. But um, I'm recording this and no prior prep. I'm just kind of, you're watching how I actually do it. How I choose the papers. How I compare colors. Oh, you know what? I kind of like that one. Let me see. Oh. Okay, now what if I did, what would that go with navy? I think feel like that's more of a periwinkle color. What is that other, I think that goes more with that than it does navy. I do like it though. And I think that would definitely go with, you no, know, with the pink flowers or the peachy flowers. I have that underneath, hold on. That would that would totally go, but it's more of a periwinkle, not necessarily a navy-ish. Let me see what else I got. That might work. I'm not loving it yet. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this one. I do love this one. I think that one's pretty. Would it match? I definitely would go with this if I wanted this. Would definitely match with this. Would definitely go with this. Would it go with this? I feel like this is not the quite right color. So I don't, uh, I'm not feeling it. I almost feel like I need to pull a color from the navy one. From the navy, if I'm going to be using navy. I mean, they do kind of go, but not as well as I would like. This is what I'm using right here. Okay, here's one that's a little bit more navy. This one might work. Let me see. I think we have our winner. I think we have a winner. Yes, I think this is it right here. This is the winner. Okay. So I'm take this. Well, let me see what else I had. This is how I do. Let me see what else. And then I'll make my choice. I really don't want a pattern because it's too much competition. So yeah, let's just go with this one. Okay, so I've selected my colors. Anyway, so we've selected our colors. Which is going to be, I'm going to use some sort of, some sort of configuration between these one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five colors, six, including the jacket die. Um, these are going to be papers that I'll be cutting. This is going to be the inside of my jacket die. The paper is not as firm as I would like it to be, uh, but with the added weight of this, I think that gives us a little bit more, a little, more, a little bit more depth or something, so let me see, what, what does this come in at? This comes in at 5, so I'm going to need 10 of this, let's cut it right here right now. I'm going to cut it just a hair over so I can trim it because this is going to be not a clean trim. So 
I'm going to score this and I'm going to go back and cut it. Just a hair over so I can do a nice trim. Okay. I'm going to score this at five, even though, well, I don't want to score it at five because I want to cut. Wait, I, well, yeah, I can score it at five because I'm going to cut this edge and this edge, so I can score it right at five. I'll be cutting that edge off. And then the edge on the other side as well. So I'm scoring this at five. I am blind. I can't see. Very lightly. You don't want to go deep when you score to if you're not going to cut because you will too much pressure you'll cut your paper. Okay, using my bone folder and these edges I'm going to trim. See that? I'm going to trim that, but I want to show you what that's going to look like. Okay, and I did leave it long because I'm going to trim that that edge, which is this is the edge. Some people like that torn look. I like a little bit more neater look, so I'm going to be trimming that off and this edge off. So I can go ahead and mark it with my pen. There, I'm going to trim these two pieces off. I'm go off camera here. And again, this is similar to what we're trying to achieve on this card right there. We're going to be going for that look. So let me take this. So if you have started working on your Mother's Day cards or haven't started, this is what I'm doing. I'm working on Mother's Day cards um, true to form. I am running super late on these cards, true to form, because that's my business. That's how I do it. Okay, I think I just trimmed off my extra little thing that tells me where the other one goes. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. So I'm going to stick this back in. I'm going to trim off the other one. Let me go this way. Um, so, you know, I don't have a mom anymore, so I don't, uh, I'm not making cards for her. My mom has gone to heaven some time ago, but I do make for other people, and I do make custom orders. Let me see where that goes. I think I can still see my line, which is disturbing me a little. So, let me see. Oh, that's good. That's good, but I can still see that line. Oh, that's going to bug me. That's going to bug me. I might have to do this again. Let me see. It is a little high, so I could stand to trim just a wee bit, which is good because I want to trim a wee bit. So let me get that in there again. Just a wee bit. I'm going to trim a wee little bit. Give me more trim a wee bit. And maybe right there. I think that's good. This one, mm, yeah. I think this is not getting as, maybe I'm not cutting it or I can't see. I think the battery on, my cutter has a light and I think the battery might be going. Okay, let's see. a little tall hold on and 
know there's other ways to measure this out, but this is the way I did it. That's good. I'm happy with that. So we're starting to see the color come through on this card, okay? So you've got the copper with that navy. It looks really pretty. It's um, it's going to be a sister card to this one, really, in terms of how it's going to look and the colors. Okay, so now that I've got that down, I'm happy with that. I need to figure out... Now, I will say I don't like the inside of this card. Eek! Um, this is what the inside pattern is. Very, very scary. So I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'll end up cutting two other pieces to decorate the inside. That's what I'll do. Very large, very large ornate pieces I'm going to do. And um, I have a, a Mother's Day card here that I made. And I think if the frame fits or the, the, the die cut, if the die cut fits, and I have not finished these cards. These are, I've been, I worked in Massé, the, um, the top layers. So I just need to attach them to a card. But I think this die cut, this really large die cut, I think this will work nicely. Let me see. It might be too big. I think it'll barely fit, and it'll cover most. I think it'll end up covering most of this, with the exception of this, of course. Um, so I might make two of these and put them on either side in a nice, um, pretty color like a peachy color. I think I might do that. So let me set this aside. And let me go ahead and um, you can see me clomping around in my, you can hear me clomping around in my, in my craft room. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my flowers now. And I think I want them, I think I want them in, let's do... I'm going to do maybe, I'm going to do a little bit of each one. I think I might have some of this left over and I just have to, I don't have to waste it. Heat wasting paper. I might be able to do one piece on this one. As you can see where I cut that out. And, no, I don't think I did it on the other one. Okay. I guess that's this one. I guess I cut this one from this one. So um, I can, if, if it'll fit, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a flower, the low flower in a foil, the leaf in a foil, and this one in non-foil. So it's going to be foil, non-foil, foil, versus this one, the, all these three are foil, which I could, I could do all three in foil. It's just that I didn't necessarily, and I really like this one. That's the bummer part. Because I like this one. I think it goes well. But I may not end up... See, that's the thing. I, I cut them and sometimes I don't use them. So what if I did... So what if I did um, these three? I could do these three. I could do... I could do this one here in this color. And then the other two in this color. So that it kind of... Basically like this. Okay. So the this larger flower I'll do in this light color, which it's not going to fit here. I've got those dyes right here. This is what it looks like. And see, this is this is a leaf that I cut. So the leaf would basically go like that. But I'm not going to do the light on this. I'm going to do the dark. I hope it goes with this. I'm still seeing periwinkle for some reason. Okay, so on this one, it's not going to fit the, this is the large one. It's not going to fit on this paper. Okay, I can save this for something else. See, that's not going to fit. No, it's a matter of which way I turn it. So let's just put this on the side. And let me get out my, I'm going to do one in this one. So let me get my, um, my mats. So let's see here. We're gonna, we are going to emboss, so let me just set the embossing folder to the side. Put the configuration together. And I just got in um, my new Anna Griffin black mat. So I won't have to use this one anymore. Yay! 
but I haven't opened it yet. So we're going to get this one here. Okay, so I'm going to paper up. I'm going to go in this direction. Okay, put that down, turn this on. And I don't know who out there, I don't, let me know, do you prefer a, um, do you prefer a electric die cutting machine or do you prefer a hand cranker? I started off with a Cricut Cuddlebug hand cranker and have since graduated maybe a year and a half ago. Wait, no. You, oh, two years. I think two years ago I may have gotten the Empress. I don't remember. I think it's been two years. And then um, last year I ordered the Mini by Anna Griffin. Okay, so this is how it looks. Take that off. Now we have to emboss it, so I'm going to be removing this carefully. You don't want it to pop off because we just I've talked about this before. You trying to line that back up again could be a nightmare. So you want to be careful with that. So it doesn't pop off and trying to trying to have to line that up again. Our embossing mat goes on top. As such. A plate back on. And yes, as you can see, I'm in dire need of these plates too. But I'm keep using it until it cracks. They're still, they're still good. And I do try to keep one plate relatively undamaged. I'll show you that in a minute. Take these apart. You can hear the static. You can see how it's embossed right there. If it'll, if it can focus. Let me just drop it down. See if, no, I don't think you can see it. There's someone to lift it. Let it focus. There you go. You can see the embossing going on right there. There you go. Okay. So um, this this. This, for the most part, is, I mean, you can see it's still scratchy, but it's mu in much better condition than this one. So I do try to keep one of them somewhat decent. Okay, so I'm going to take this off so you can see it. Make sure things popped out. Look how pretty that is. So in theory, in theory, theory this will go like this okay like that so let's set that to the side and I'm going to cut I'm going to cut two pieces from this because I'm going to be I'm going to cut two pieces because I'm going to be cutting Two at the same time different color okay different color but um get this lined up different color but i want to do it at the same time to save time okay, so i cut my pieces of paper see and uh, i think the leaf would be good on the leaf where did i do with my leaf got cut where's my dye i mean the chaos has the it has succumbed to the chaos. Here it is right here. Okay. So let's get our mats together. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in this direction. I'm gonna put the papers in this direction. Except I'm gonna do the papers down. Okay, so I want the leaf here. And this is the one we're going to use for the leaf. I'm going to try to do it like that. See? Like that. And then the flower, which will be this one. Don't want to waste any paper. Will be like this. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't screw up. Yes, you can use washi tape. No, 
I don't listen to myself sometimes and I am not using washi tape. Okay, now I'm running this through. Ridged cutting die faced up, paper facing down. Yes, you can do paper facing up and die facing down, but this gives a better cut when the die is facing up. So that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so you can see there, it's exactly where I wanted it to be, which is perfect. No wasted paper, I hope. Okay, so now we're going to emboss these. So again, I'm going to remove it, place it on my A plate. Now I'm going to put the embossing mat over this. A plate back on. And we're going to run this through the um, Empress die cutting machine to give it some embossing. Okay. There we go. Oh, what did I do? I lost one. Hold on slid out okay right there. Ooh, you can see you can see look at that embossing the empress is super powerful dude i also have a gemini junior and that is also super powerful um most electric die cutting machines are pretty strong there I, somebody has one coming out i think or just came out i don't remember who that who that is but i have not tried that one um, I pretty much, I do, like I said, I do own two manual hand crank die cutting machines, but I just, I, I don't, the, the ease and the convenience, the ease and the convenience have, have won out for me. Okay, let's set this to the side. Okay. So, the way I'm picturing this, and right now I'm mm, on the fence on this background color, but that's where it's at right now. Slide this one underneath. Then this one will go over. I think we're going to have this one go over. And you just have to find the direction that it goes in, like that. Oh, and then I'm going to leave this. I This did not come with dyes for this, although I do believe this might be one of these flowers. I haven't matched it up yet. Um, and the leaf, mm, I don't think it's any one of these, but anyways, it's this, it might be actually a piece from here maybe, but I think that looks so pretty already. Yes, I'm very happy with this. Okay, so this is what I've done. I went ahead and decided to do, we did the jacket. Okay, I did it in the, again in the copper color. And I did the, I guess, inner jacket in this kind of periwinkle blue color i really it's a navy-ish maybe i'm not really sure it's i don't know i like it um i was a little unsure on how it would go i think it's going to play well with this darker navy and then the ends the if this is double-sided cardstock i didn't care for this this is like no i don't like that so i decided to go with back to this color and i made an inner jacket okay that i will either adhere to this side so when you open it, there will be a ribbon. I've, I've got the ribbon here. I'm going to use that same ribbon I used on the other card. So this will hold it together. Um, so, But I will be using either an adhesive on this side, or I think I'm going to do an adhesive right here and let this part play out loose, okay, with the ribbon. This is the back of the, of the jacket. So it's going to be really essentially three. This is going to give it a nice weight, a nice weight to it. Now, further, to write my sentiment... I've chosen this um, paper from Joanne. I feel really bad that I can never remember the name of it. I believe the name is Park Lane. It is Park Lane paper by Joanne. So if you ever buy, now it's super heavyweight. I'm not sure if this is the same one. This is 65. No, this is not going to be the same. It's going to look like this, okay, Park Lane. But this is not the same weight. This weight is way, I think this weight is 110 or 120 pounds. Not really sure. It's up there. It's up there in the weights. Um, but it is fantastic paper. Very good quality. Embosses beautifully. I love it. That was my head hitting the camera. Um, so I, I'm going to be cutting. Uh, I'm going to be using a die to cut something. I'm going to use this one. And this will cut like this. This 
part here, and this is where I'm going to write my sentiment on. This card is different. This one's already spoken for. This was, that was a custom order uh, for somebody's Mother's Day Memorial card that they wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and, and I think I'm going to cut another one of these just to bring that color in. Because I'm going to have an extra leaf and I want a flower in this color. And I think I'll probably do the flower in this design just to make it opposite. So first I'm going to go ahead and cut this uh, the sentiment piece or where I can write my sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Turn on my machine. Okay, switch that on. Let's get our plates together. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side. Okay, so we want to get our egg plate down, magnetic with shim down. Um, we're going to do die face up on this one. Let's see, the paper is going to be running this direction, so the die will go this direction. Oh, I did not clean my die. There are still some pieces right here. Let's see, where is it? Did it come out? All right. There. All gone. No, wait, there's still, though, there's still two. There's one. And I saw that other piece right there. You want to make sure they're all out because when you go to cut and emboss, you might not get a clean, a clean cut or a clean image. So I'm going to do die up because this is intricate and I really want it to do a good job. So die up. That'll give you the most pressure, in my opinion. Uh, when I do die face down and paper face up, this one doesn't matter. It's white both directions. I don't get it as great a cut. Um, sometimes you don't need a great cut, and sometimes you really do. So I'm going to run this now. I've got this all going. Run it through my machine. You see it traveling there. Through. Take it out. This is going to take an embossing also. Even though it's an inside, see that? Even though it's an inside, I still want to get my embossing. Okay, so, and it's already started to pop off. I don't know if you can tell. And that's what I'm talking about. I don't want it to shift. So I want to take it off of here. And, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want the die to come off the mat. Sometimes it really sticks really well to that magnetic mat. So I have to like be careful when I take it off. So I'm putting this on, back on the A plate. I can see it wanting to lift, but I don't want it to lift. I need to get my embossing mat on. To get that on, so it won't move. Hopefully that's a good, that's good placement there. We're gonna put A plate back on, and we're going to run it through the machine. So that it embosses. This is going to push. That mat is going to push everything together and raise all of the embossing components, all the detail. It's going to raise it on that paper. Came up on its own. Gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Let's go ahead and clean it up. Some pieces here that need to pop out. Let me see. If you're needing a custom card, feel free to contact me um, for information on that. I do make custom cards. I can collab with you or, you know, if you want to commission me to make one, a design for you, you can contact me via the various messaging links either through Instagram or Facebook. Okay. I'll clean this up next time. It needs more cleaning. So now how that's going to look. That one does not want to cooperate. Okay. So how that's going to look once I've got all that together. And again, these flowers will be placed on the outside. I just haven't done that yet. And this is going to go like this. Okay. And this is where I'm going to write my sentiments. Now, I do want a flower 
in the navy in this cut. But seeing it right here, I'm thinking, oh, that's going to, that's really going to cut into my, um, like, that's a really large flower. That's what I'm trying to say. That's a really large flower. Okay, so maybe if I just do a leaf, and I do have an extra one, but I think I would like a navy one. Also, this navy one belongs to the outside, and if I did this flower, just wanted to be opposite, I still think it's pretty large. That's just too much. That's too much, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with leaves. So I need one in the navy. I need a leaf in the navy, so let's go ahead and cut that. I do have an extra um I could do it in I could do it in this design just to change it up see what that looks like okay because I did the leaf on which paper was it uh, I can't find it now oh this one I did it on this one. See the difference? So I'm going to go with this one. Just to change it up a little bit. Give me something different. I want to bring some of that navy to the inside. Okay. So let's go ahead and do our cutting. So a plate down. Magnetic mat with shim. Down on that. Um, die. I need a leaf die. Face up. And I'm going to get it right there. Okay. And then a plate back again. Okay. And let's run this. Let's run that through. Okay. And here we go. Okay. Now I need, I do need to emboss this. I mean, it did probably emboss some, but I think, well, no, let's, let's say true to form. Let's say true to form. Okay. Let's continue the way we're supposed to. Sometimes you're like, I just want to make a shortcut or take a shortcut, but no, I know it's a lot of work, but you know, um, these, I've said it before, you know, these flowers come, these flowers, these cards come from the heart. You're, Putting, if you're a maker, you know what it takes to, to make these cards. You know, you, you put everything into it. You know, your time, obviously, your efforts, um, your creativity. You you put everything into it. This These cards are representing you. And you really want to convey your sentiment to whoever you're giving it to. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That is really pretty. Look at that. Right? Okay. So, let's go ahead and layer this up. So, I'm going to go ahead and, um, ooh, I don't like that. Hold on, that was the top of the card. You know what? Let me trim off. I need some trimming. I need some trimming. I didn't finish trimming this card, and I don't like the way that looks. Just trim off a little bit. what I wanted a little bit and I think that's good okay I don't think I need a little bit more hold on a little bit I have my cutter off camera so you're not going to see me trimming that's all done off camera I don't want to trim too much there we go okay that's good okay so I'm going to put tape on this side. Actually, since this is, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put one strip, put it down, and then this will be positioned and this will be loose. And that's how I'm going to want it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to take some double stick tape. I'm going to put it right here almost. I don't know if you can see that where I'm putting it. Hold on, let me see. So you know my camera is position, positioned towards the top part of it. There. See if my big head doesn't get in the way. 
So I'm going to do it like what? There. Okay. And I'm going to take this. And I'm going to line it up as center as it can be. Right almost to the center. And I'm going to press that down. Okay, so it'll look like this. Okay, so when I've got the card in there, this will be stuck to this. Okay, but this will give it some movement and some play and some dimension. Okay, so when they open it up, this will be stuck to this. Okay, and this will be a little floppy. They'll see a little bit of the blue in there and all that. Okay, so that's, that's good. That's the way I want it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and attach this to this. I'm going to go ahead and use some, actually I'm going to, should I do this to this? Let's go ahead and do this to this. I'm going to go ahead and do some of the Gina K dots because they're not too high and they're super, super sticky. So that'll ensure that my, my work will, will stay put. I hope I'm making sense. Sometimes when I'm trying to talk and craft, it's like, what did I just say? Okay, so I'm going to put this one right there. And these are fairly good size um, foam squares. Get it up there. The Focus, see? By Gina K. Foam squares. They're, I mean, the actual size of them is a pretty good size. See? And so you have to find spots on your card where they will fit. Right there, I'm going to put the one down here okay right there and I might be able to get away with one right there you don't want your foam two, two things you don't want your foam to show through number one and you don't want your foam don't, you don't want it to be visible, but you also don't want it, especially when it's two-sided and super sticky like this Gina K, you don't want it to be in this cutaway part because then what's going to happen is it's going to stick to maybe things it's not supposed to stick to. And I am going to have a ribbon. On the other card, I did put adhesive here to adhere it to this, but I'm not going to do that on this one. This, is, this will hold it, and then I'm going to also use ribbon. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit different. The the dynamic of it is going to be just a little different. So I do want to line it up again. Let's see. Not where I want it to be. Not where I want it to be. And I have the lights kind of low because this material is very reflective. And I don't want the lights to hit it the wrong way. Okay, there. See? Ta-da! Look how gorgeous that looks. Let me bring it up closer. Hold on. Let's see. The blue with the coppery rose gold is just absolutely stunning. I love that. And this paper, by the way, this copper paper, I was very impressed with the quality. I'm going to show you what brand it is. And I think I either found, it's either available right now at Michael's or... It, um, it's either available right now, Michael's, or it was seasonal. I don't remember. Let me see if I have another one. I might have another unopened pack that I can show you. Yes, yeah, here it is. Right here. And it's titled Rose Gold. It's 25 sheets. I got it on sale. I don't like to buy anything full price. Um, so this is what it looks like. Okay. It's by Recollections, which is the Michael's brand. And it's Rose Gold Foil. And it's got a nice... Um, it's not like their gold foil, which I'm not really impressed with. Sorry, Michael. I'm not impressed with it. But this particular um, paper is very sturdy, whereas their gold foil is like super like text weight. This one's got like a almost like a craft back to it. And it's really pretty. This is what was left over after one of the jacket dies was cut. So this is a really nice paper was really impressed with that quality. Okay, so I'm seeing that my card is a little 
was skew. What the heck happened there? Let me see. Is it me or is it my eyesight? Is it me or is it my eyesight? I think it's okay. Where do I see this? Oh, that's the inside of the card. Okay. So, oh, okay. So I forget. There's multi, there's multi layers here. I'm like, what is going on? So this card has multi layers. You've got the blue, the navy. You've got this. There's a lot going on here. Okay. And don't forget, we're going to be adhering this die cut to the inside of this card. Okay. And um, honestly, I, I would almost like. I'm wondering if I should adhere this. I, I don't think so. I think we're just going to make it like a book. Okay. And just kind of send it off that way. Um, that's just the way that it looks. But um, I'm trying to think what I. Oh, I, I adhered. I adhered this to the navy. And the navy is adhered to this. That's how it's all really together. So let's go ahead and put our flowers on next. So the leaf. I believe we're going with this color, this color, and this color. And these two leaves are going to be, no, this leaf. I want this one for the outside. This one's for the inside. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I believe this flower goes in and then this one will go slightly on top of it like that. And then this one if I can find the right angle is going to go on top of the this white one or it could I could do it that the white one goes on top of that blue I could do it like that yeah I like that better I like this one better because there's a lot of navy so let's let's do the let's do the white one on top of the navy so we're going to do um this one down first then this one then this one we'll we'll follow up that way okay so I'm going to go ahead and Position, position this one where it should be, which goes like, oh, I lost it again. Hold on. You got to match it up. Is it like this? Yeah, it goes like this. Okay, that's the way it's going to go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use, this is kind of puffy. And I'm trying to, what, what would I like to use? I don't really, it doesn't have to be dimensional, but I think, I think we will make it dimensional. So I'm going to go with the Gina K squares again because those are pretty, those are pretty good. And I'm going to put it on the piece that I think is the largest. And in this case, um, definitely this one, definitely this one right here. I'm going to do two because these are pretty sticky. I don't really need more than two. And I want to put it on this one here. Okay. Right there. So we're going to take this off. Now I need to match it up again. Got to be careful because this stuff is super sticky. There. That gives a little bit of dimension, a little bit of pop. Okay, so same thing for the other one. Uh, this one, I'm going to put it on, this one, I'm going to put it on, let me see, probably this one here, and I feel like I need something there, but I don't want to, I'm going to use a different one there. I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to use a Zot. I'm going to use a Zot. I'm going to use one of the little bling ones. Just a little tiny Zot. See? It's so tiny. I don't think you can see that. And I'm just going to put it right there. Just to give it a little stick -um. Okay, let's... And this is the stem on this one. So this one's pretty easy to line up. Okay, some people would have cut that away, but I'm going to leave it. Some people would have cut this away. They would have put this die down on this flower and cut that away so that it, it's like an inlay effect. And I, at Creativation, there was a lot of inlaying going on. I took a class with uh, Wendy Vici, and she was doing a lot of inlay work. Um, but I didn't do any inlay on this one. I'm just doing right over the top. So... 
you know, in in retrospect, I'm like, oh, maybe I should have I should have inlaid that. Yeah, yeah, I coulda, I coulda, but I didn't. <laughs> I coulda, but I didn't. So that's just the way that one's gonna be. Okay, so this one's the same way. Let me see where I can put this one. I'm gonna do one right there, and I might use um. That's not a whole lot of space. I can maybe put, fit one right there. Let me try. Let me try. See what I can do here because it's pretty big. If, maybe, if I go in the diamond pattern, let me see. I think you might you might be able to see. You might that might go over some. Yeah, that's gonna go over some. So sometimes what I do is I just roll it. I just roll that foam. It is rollable. I roll it so that it doesn't show. And um, I think I'm going to use a dot. Where are my dots? And the only thing is the, the dimension is not that. I think the, the dots are slightly higher. Yeah, they look higher to me. I'm going to put one right there. Okay. And maybe another Gina K on this side. Right, right here. I'm probably gonna have to roll it though. I'm gonna have to roll it. Just roll it a little bit because it's beyond the boundary of where the leaf really is. There. Okay. Let me see. There. Doesn't it look pretty? Doesn't that look pretty? Okay, I'm happy with that. What is this on my nail? I don't know. I'm really happy with that. How that turned out. I've, I'm going to put the um, I'm going to put this on the inside. I'm going to use double stick tape. I don't. I'm not looking for dimension on this one. Uh, you certainly could do some dimension or add some dimension, but I'm not really looking for any dimension on this one. I want it to lay flat. Scissors. Where are my scissors? Okay. Here we go. And I do see how that's kind of separating. I don't maybe I'll add some more stickum. I don't I don't really know. So we're gonna add this down. So like right there, that should be good. Okay, and I'm going to come back in with my leaf. And I think I'm going to do navy in and pink out. What do you guys think? Let's look, I'll look like on the screen. Navy in, pink, light out, or navy out, light in. I think, I think navy out. And I want to connect these together. I need my larger thoughts, though. I don't know if you can see those. If I get up really close, if it'll shine on them. I don't think you can. Let me see. Mm -hmm. oh, they're there. Trust me. They're there. I'm going to pull one off. See? And... You can also directly, oh, but I don't want to ruin my paper, which I think I just did. Give it. Give it. Okay, so let me see. There. That looks nice. I like that. You can really see the navy on the screen versus this lighter color. Okay, so that's good. Um, so that's how that's going to go. I really like the way that turned out. Although that, that is sticking a little bit beyond the edge. That's okay. And then we need to add our ribbon. And I need to add, I use an embosser like this. And it's like the old timey kind of notary stamp. Not really, but this one's a square. It just adds my name in the back. Um, I used to use a, I can't put it on here because 
you can probably see me doing here. I used to add it using stamping, like stamp, like ink stamping or ink stamp. But I, I, don't, I moved on to an embosser. It was just easier for me. So let me see. Go like this. Slide it in. You can see me do that. And then I just squeeze down. It embosses my name. And okay, so now I'm ready to... I'm still thinking on this. I'm still thinking that I want to adhere this to this. Because this, this does worry me a little. You know, the only problem is it's a moving card. You know what I mean? This card is moving. So if you make, if you adhere this, I can feel it pulling. I can feel this pulling. So I don't think I'm going to. I would like to, but I, like I said, I can feel this pulling. If you would have did like separate, but I didn't. So that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and add my ribbon. Not ribbon. I don't really like working with really thin ribbon like this just because I've been finding it problematic. I use this type of ribbon uh, for very sm for wrapping small gifts and making small little bows on when you just want to do like a quick bow on a gift. But um, I also use it to um, attach ornaments to my Christmas trees. I love Christmas trees. I, I in a in a perfect perfect holiday with no stress never. Um, I like to do several like five or six or seven Christmas trees is, is usually what I like. I just noticed something. See, I said that white dot was a little high and it is much higher than the Gina K and I can see it and that is disturbing me. I don't know if I'm able to fix it. Let me see if I can fix the placement of this foamy foam. see mm. not ideal it's always best to use the same same heights not ideal but I fixed it that's fine okay so now I'm gonna do so what I was saying is I, I have this ribbon it is in the peach or the copper and the cream color but I also have this other ribbon down here the only problem is it's silver I wish it would have had some gold in it and it doesn't because I would totally use it it is it's more of a peachy pink color, and I think it goes well here with like with this flower. And I would totally use this one, and I think it would be a great, but a great ribbon. But no, it's not going to work for me. So let me just try to use this one, which I'm not fond of because it's so, I don't know, it's just weird. It's a weird ribbon. So you're going to see me how I do this and be like, mm, I could do better. You probably could. This this is not uh, my strong suit here, but I is trying. Okay, so I need enough to to make the bow, and so I'm just gonna cut more than I need. I'm just gonna cut more than I actually need. Okay. Bring it in. going to this is just me I am not an expert in this part so if you're if you got a tip on how I can do this in a better way please 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 share with me share with me your tips I would very much enjoy them and appreciate them this part here wait did I tie that yes Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it differently because I saw someone do it once. So um, I did it this way and I turned it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I thought about something. I tied this one the opposite direction and I liked it better. I haven't trimmed off the excess. I tied it in the opposite direction. I liked it better. So I'm going to do it this way and then go the opposite way. I know this is like not rocket scientist, not rocket science, Jeannie. So I don't know why you're stumbling. I know, I know, I know, I know. What was that? I think somebody's messaging me. Well, I'm recording this video. I have my computer set up. I don't know. Well, if they are, I can't see it. So I am sorry. Let's go back. Okay. 
Let me see. So I'm going to tie it this way, right? So I did it this way. Then I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it this way because I like my bow this way better. Bring it in, bring it in. And then from here, I'm going to tie my bow. See how that works for me. I'm just going to do it like this. I don't know what this is going to look like. Now is the time I wish I would have bought the Anna Griffin bow box. I don't know if that would have helped me with this. Bow making box. I was like, oh, I don't need that. And you cannot find it on her website either. It's not there. It's not there. I'm trying to get these the exact length. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and cut. I'm going to cut that. Lots of tidbits of ribbon that I kind of wasted. Oh my gosh. I gosh darn love this card a lot. I made this for some special people. I hope they love it as much as I loved creating it for them. Um, I really, really, really love this card. This came out so nice. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so pleased. So thank you for watching me make this card. Um, I'm going to compile the three separate videos together and show you how I made that. It took various materials like Anna Griffin metal dies, uh, DCWV paper, some Gina K adhesive, some 3M adhesive, some ribbon that I had purchased from Joanne's Don't Roll It brand. Um, I also used um, some gold foil, rose foil paper from, um, I think it's Recollections, was it? From, from Michael's. Um, just and then of course the white paper from I think it was Park Lane from Joanne's that inner paper there. So we did we had a lot of great times. We you know making this card I did I don't know about you but uh, I also use the, the Anna Griffin Empress and all the metal plates. So again thank you for watching Winnie's Casita helping me make this card watching me how I make this card from pretty much from beginning to end and I had a lot of fun doing it. I learned it's it, honestly it's a learning experience, dude. I mean I'm just like. You know, I you guys watch me make this card. If you want to see how does she make those cards, this is how I make it. And this one does not have the components like the other cards that I make. It doesn't have like, I know the other ones have like a lot of stuff. This one's a little bit more subdued. But to me, it's got a lot of flash. It's got a lot of pizzazz. You've got, you've got foiling going on. You've got tons of it. I mean, the back, the front, the inside, multiple papers. Um, this has a lot going on. And it's, in its simplicity, it is no less grand to me and i adore it thank you so much for watching me you want to use casita instagram facebook twitter find me oh youtube too i don't post much there i need to upload more maybe this one will make it there i don't know but thank you for watching me subscribe like share all that jazz and i wish you guys the best have a great day thanks for watching Bye bye